What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. This is the movie that created the world's first billionaire writer. The book series were so successful that J.K. Rowling became one of the wealthiest women in the world. And soon after, production houses jumped at the opportunity to create movie adaptations of the books. We know, we know, you've heard it all before, but what you may not have known are these 50 Harry Potter facts. So let's jump right in and what they're all about. Number 50, J.K. Rowling's Quidditch Dilemma. The author had to write about five pages of words that begin with Q in order to find just the right one for the famous Harry Potter game. Number 49, Rupert Grint wrapped in his audition tape. While dressed as his drama teacher, who was a woman, he began his freestyle with, Hello, my name is Rupert Grint. I hope you don't think I stink. Whether you think that's funny or not, it landed him the job. Number 48, the three main characters got their own chocolate frog cards. Number 47, Dumbledore was 115 years old when he died. Guess that long beard was there for a reason. Number 46, Rowling almost ended Ron, but then she changed her mind. She wanted to kill the character of Ron, but she then changed her mind and decided to keep him. Number 45, Emma Watson's first professional acting job was on Harry Potter. Many actors start their career with small acting jobs and a bunch of commercials, but Emma went straight for the big leagues with this giant role of Hermione. Number 44, only Hermione returned to complete her last year at Hogwarts. Neither Ron nor Harry went back to finish their education. Number 43, Harry was allergic to green lenses. So if you were wondering why Harry Potter from the movies doesn't have green eyes like the character from the books, here's your explanation. Number 42, Radcliffe has awful handwriting. At least he did while shooting the scene where he had to throw his name into the Goblet of Fire. The piece of paper that said Harry was written by someone else on set because his handwriting was so terrible. Number 41. Draco dormiens nunquam titulandus is Latin for never tickle sleeping dragon. And you better smash that like button or you'll feel its wrath. Now you wouldn't want that, would you? Number 40. The main character had to write an essay on their character. That's why Emma wrote 16 pages. Daniel just won and Rupert didn't turn his in. Guess we now know who the slackers are. We're looking at you, Daniel and Rupert. Number 39, Severus Snape is the embodiment of Rowling's science teacher. She wanted to make a character that looked very much like her old chemistry teacher so she created the strict and almost emotionless Severus Snape. Number 38, Radcliffe's stunt double became paralyzed. After one of the stunts went horribly wrong, his stunt double became paralyzed. They probably should have paid more attention. Number 37, Ivana Lynch struggled with anorexia. And in order to help her cope with the condition, Rowling constantly wrote her letters of encouragement and she managed to beat the condition. Number 36, they removed Peeves from the movie because everyone kept laughing. Not all the book characters made it to the final cut. They planned on including him in the movies, but every time he appeared, the kids just couldn't stop laughing. Number 35, Daniel got bullied at school for playing Harry Potter. This was way back when he began filming the first movie before everyone was on board with the whole idea of wizards. They probably called him a nerd for playing the role. Number 34, Fred Weasley's death scene was hard to shoot, and that's why they could only shoot short parts of it because it was emotionally exhausting. Number 33, Luna Lovegood is a zoologist. She was in charge of discovering magical beasts, and she has been in charge of discovering many magical beasts that the world didn't even know they existed. Number 32, Emma Watson's seven attempts to get the role. Maybe the directors were hesitant because this was Emma's first acting job. Number 31, Tom Felton kept bringing food on set and that's why they were forced to sew his robe pockets shut. 
Number 30. Harry's pet owl was played by seven different owls. Man, and you'd think that they would need only one owl to shoot such easy scenes. Number 29. The owl's death had a meaning. Rowling included it in the movie because she said it had played an integral part in building Harry's persona. It was the moment he was no longer a child and entered the world of adults. Number 28. Rupert Grint had to be removed off the set. Why? Well, because he laughed while Emma and Daniel were kissing in Deathly Hallows Part 1. And it wasn't like a quiet little giggle. This guy managed to make so much noise, he had to be kicked out. Number 27. The actress of Moaning Myrtle was 37 years old when she played her character. She was the oldest actor to play a Hogwarts student. And this was while she played the character. It established her as one of the oldest characters to play a student from Hogwarts. The reason they chose her was because she looked very childish for her age. Number 26. One Take Watson. The cast gave their trio nicknames based on how well they did their scenes. Because Emma shot her scenes with the least amount of effort, they called her One Take Watson. Number 25. Redo Rupert. Now, could you guess why they called him that? Maybe because he had to redo every scene they ever shot. 24. Do Again Harry. Same goes with this guy as well. He caused so many problems for the show. Number 23. Harry. Only one to possess the three Deathly Hollows. This made him the very first wizard, as well as the only wizard in Hogwarts history, to ever possess the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Number 22. Voldemort's Love and Capacity Voldemort, the Lord of Darkness, he whose name shall not be mentioned, was conceived by under a love potion, so he couldn't feel love. Number 21. Draco wanted to be Harry or Ron. The actor Tom Felton first auditioned for the roles of Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, but after he got rejected for both of them, he settled for Draco Malfoy. Number 20. The word muggle was invented by Rowling, and it earned a place in the English language dictionary. Number 19. Quidditch has 700 rules for fouls, so you can imagine how much you have to read just so you don't break the rules accidentally. It's a wonder anyone ever plays this game. Number 18. Fred Weasley fell asleep on set. This happened while they were shooting his death scene. When he woke up, he was alone on set. Everyone else went to get lunch. Number 17. Stephen King called Dolores Umbridge worse than Hannibal Lecter. When King was writing a review for the movie, after watching Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, he praised how well thought out the antagonist Dolores Umbridge is. Number 16. The least successful movie was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It made less than $800 million at the box office, which means although it wasn't as successful as the other movies, it was not a failure, not by a long shot. Number 15. Rowling's favorite animals are otters. Number 14. Daniel's schedule was so packed he did homework on set. Number 13. Dobby dies while he was a teenager. How do we know this? Well, it's because elves live for 200 years. Number 12. The author got inspired to write the book while waiting for a train. You never know when inspiration might strike, so thank God the train was late. Otherwise, who knows what kind of book she would have written. Number 11. Rowling didn't want to play Lily Potter. She was offered to play the mother of Harry Potter, but she refused the role. Number 10. Snape knew his fate because Rowling only told it to him. And if you think it didn't matter, you should know that it influenced his performance. Number 9. Michael Jackson's proposal, he suggests that Rowling do a musical of the movie, but she never agreed. The pop icon suggested that Rowling do a musical with one of the Harry Potter movies, but she declined. Number 8. Witches and wizards can't speak Parseltongue and they can't even learn it if they wanted to. Number seven, Steven Spielberg walked out on Harry Potter. This happened because he envisioned the movie as a completely animated series, but Rowling had to disagree. Number six, Robin Williams almost played Hagrid, but even though he's Harry, 
Rowling didn't want him on set because she wanted all the actors to have the same nationality as the book characters. Number 5. Voldemort was 71 when he died. Guess his nose grew much older than him, and it fell off. You can't blame us for sneaking in a Voldemort nose joke. Come on! Number 4. The Wand's Fate in the Book versus the Movie In the movie, Harry breaks the wand in half, but in the book, Harry places the wand in Dumbledore's grave, so no other wizard could ever wield its power. Number 3. Six actors played Lord Voldemort. There were five in the movies, the child version, the teenage version, the adolescent version, the grown-up version, and that white snake-looking wizard at the end. Another was the voice of Voldemort in the Lego movie. Number 2. Daniel broke 80 wands throughout the movie. Number 1. Al Potter had the last line. Daniel Radcliffe had the last word in every movie up till the Deathly Hollows Part 2, where his son Al Potter actually had the last word. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, how many of the Harry Potter movies have you watched so far? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.